I visited hundreds of restaurants that have impacted so many lives. Oh my God! <laughs> but I'd never seen it like this. Faces of this is from Food Network's hit show, Restaurant Impossible. The show sends Robert Irvine, the chef, to rescue struggling restaurants, turning failures into fortune. Well, restaurants across the country are suffering now due to the COVID pandemic. At least half might not make it. And Chef Robert Irvine's new spin-off series, Restaurant Impossible Back in Business, revisits previously featured restaurants affected by the crisis. And joining us now is show host and chef Robert Irvine. Chef, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, congratulations on the new spin-off. What can fans expect to see on the new show? Well, first of all, thanks, Dan, for taking a moment and, and spending some time with me. I got to say, um, Restaurant Impossible is emotional, right? But this, back in business, is way more emotional. It's a, a, a real in-life moment of, of change. You've, since March, all our restaurants have been closed. 11 million of our hospitality workers have been out of work, suffering. And um, I got fed up sitting at home, got a hold of Food Network and said, hey, can we go back and do this? And luckily, Food Network and Discovery said yes. Um, with all new protocols, a smaller team of 12 people, no designer, no builder, just camera guys, sound guys, myself, and some producers. And we go into to previously seen restaurants that have closed down from, from no fault of their own from COVID-19 in six different states. And, um, and we change them. We're reopening them back in business using the safety protocols of not only masks and gloves, but supply chain, looking at the financials, the menus, the delivery system, the, the no touch stuff, uh, all those things that we, we hear and think about every day now, which was never the normal. So it's, um, it's really interesting. There's a lot of emotion. Uh, people are losing homes, their businesses, their, their finances that they saved up. Remember, when we go back in, uh, the, when we go in the first time, Restaurant Impossible, it's normally because they failed due to their own whatever you know if it's food if it's service but um when we put them right they go from 20 to 60 to 80 thousand a month doing great and then all of a sudden this pandemic comes uh takes the legs from underneath them and now it's my job and my mission in life sincerely to put as many of these restaurants not only the restaurant possible family but as many restaurants and businesses back in business as we can yeah, and Chef, this is a new way of doing business, as you had mentioned, and it's an education not only for the owner, but for the customer, the patron as well, right? Yeah, you know, we've been we've been so used to going to our local restaurants and getting what we get, you know, without any hesitation, no problems, and now it's a whole different ball game. Now we've got to think about, you know, am I taking my two young kids? Is it my grandma? Am I going to be safe? Um, do I feel good? What's the menu? What are the protocols? Are the servers wearing masks? Are they wearing gloves? Because that's an alien thing, right? We don't go to a restaurant, somebody wearing masks and gloves to serve us. But now it's a new norm. And we have to educate not only the customers to know that they're safe, but also the staff and the owners so that they know their responsibility. We have it in the military. It's called duty of care. We as restaurant owners and hotel owners and business owners have a duty of care to our customers. And that's what this is about, getting the customers back into our restaurant. And, and you have a connection to the St. Louis area, coming into the St. Louis area and in, in, in a Ferguson restaurant. I, I do Drake's, uh, Drake's Place in Ferguson, Sonny and Bridget and their son, Bob. I have to tell you, I went there the first time, redid the restaurant. They became literally part of my personal family, very close, dear friends. And that's something that Restaurant Impossible has done. Um, you know, you think I'm a big, tough, burly guy that lifts weights. I am, and I'm intense. But I got to tell you, the, the, the relationships that I've built um, over this show of 230 plus restaurants and now going back in business um, to help them, uh, it's unbelievable. And um, I, I got to tell you, these restaurant owners have become my own personal family. I talk to them every week. I know what they're doing. I know the struggles. I know the family. Um, and it's such an honor um, to be able to go back and help them. But it's also very emotional for me because I can't hug them. I can't, you know, when you see somebody break down in front of you, a grown man or a grown woman, and the kids are suffering and, and you can't go up and suddenly hug them, that's like your family. And, and, and it's very hard for me, and it has been very hard for my crew to do that. Well, right. Do that, and, and, and you're a restaurant owner yourself, uh, so you're, you're finding the way uh, uh, to travel this new journey. Yes, I mean, I've got a restaurant inside the Pentagon in D.C. 
the actual Pentagon itself is open. It's never closed. Although we reduced hours, we reduced that. I've got one in Vegas that is still closed. It won't open probably till the first week of September. And one in Pennsylvania that's closed um, because it's, in, it's inside of a building that, that has no nobody going into it, basically. Um, so we're navigating the same things, um, trying to give the information that we find from the CDC, the National Restaurant Association, the National Institute of Health, um, all the compiling that information to give per state and per county for, for the right information for them owners to be able to do their job, you know, pivoting on menus, um, changing their business. Yeah, and I'm sure that a lot of these restaurant owners are so grateful for your input and your guidance as we all try to come up with creative ways to uh, to live through this uh, pandemic. And, uh, you know, best of luck. I'm, I'm sure that there will be a lot of eyes on the new show. Uh, it's on Thursday. It's at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, the, the Restaurant Impossible uh, Back in Business. Uh, I hope that many, 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 many of them get back in business, Chef. Thanks, Dan. And all the viewers out there, go and, and support your communities, your local restaurants, and say hi to Dan and make sure you buy something. We love you all. Thank you. <laughs> we will. Chef Robert Irvine, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great day and good luck.